Hello everyone, the Wolfman of Unlockable Content here, Lewis Wolf. I just got back from seeing Beauty and the Beast last night. And all of you homophobic, pain-in-the-ass people that said you wanted to boycott this movie, I had no idea you were right. The gay agenda works. <laughs> Josh Gad as LeFou has ruined me for... I am sorry. I am sorry. Liberace is now envious of me. You were so I am so sorry I doubted all of you. So in all seriousness now, uh, the movie was spectacular. I'm going to try and do this a little bit more detail than I usually do, just a reaction, general opinion. I'm going to try and make this one really deep, not really detailed, but more detailed. Uh, I apologize in advance if anybody thinks that this enters spoiler territory. I don't really know how you can spoil this movie because it does follow the animated feature really closely. So you know the story already. There's nothing that I can really spoil, I don't think. There are some new elements that I will not touch up on. I'm going to try to beat around them as much as I can, so you can still enjoy those. But there are certain things that I just have to touch up on. Uh, first thing, right from the get-go, this movie enters you into the universe of this story. And it's really, like, I caught on to it almost uh, immediately from the Disney logo. So, I mean, we're talking that early on. It's, it enters into, into this world. And you're just immersed from the beginning. It is so well done. Now, another thing that I want to bring up. When I saw the trailers for this movie, I was worried about how the enchanted items, the knickknacks around the house, all the characters were going to move and how they were going to work within the story. Maybe I'm spoiled by the wondrous art of animation, but there's a certain fluidity that the animated feature has. You know, when Lumiere or Cogsworth move, you get a, you know, a certain sense of fluidity. It's the best word I can think of for this. And when I saw the trailers initially, I was worried that they were going to be too rigid. Now, I understood where they were coming from with that, trying to create a sense of realism. I mean, how fluid could a candelabra actually move? But no, the, the movie does actually a spectacular job with that. And there are elements of their movement that are explained very well. And things about the castle that are explained very well. All of the enchantment on within the magical world that is the castle is explained very nicely. As well as other story elements. They do a wonderful job of filling in some, a lot of the plot holes that the cartoon made. And it adds a new level of believability to the story that, like I said, you're just immersed. You completely buy into this magical world now. It fixes a lot of the problems. So like I said, you know, the characters, they moved well, and the voice performances were so on point. Everybody hit a mark so well. The, the, the you know, knick-knack characters, they did great. The Beast was fantastic. From the first moment I heard the Beast's voice, I was into it. It was so good. I mean, you really believed that the Beast was brought to life, I thought. Fantastic job. Emma Watson, she was beautiful, elegant. She brought Belle to life, I believed. I do have one complaint about her, though. And it's not that it's an English actress playing a French character. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you can see this in in some of the trailers that you see her too, like that clip when she when she lifts Chip up and they look at her face. Maybe I'm just not good at reading like human faces and and emotional reactions to things. You know, you can you know make that argument all you want. I didn't really read wonder off of her. I didn't read enchantment off of her. I mean, she was emoting, and the emotions were looking appropriate. They didn't look out of place, and she certainly didn't look stone-faced by any means. She was, she was definitely in the moment. I just wasn't reading wonderment off of her. I mean, see the movie, comment below, tell me what you think. Maybe I'm just not reading something well, but 
that's how I felt off of her. I wasn't reading enchantment. I, I She didn't look enchanted to me. Now, you can make an argument, you know, she's you know, still kind of fighting this, you know, imprisonment. But when a candelabra has a show-stopping number right in front of you, you know, you, you should have a little bit more than just a smirk on your face, I think. <laughs> but you tell me. There were stylistic choices, too. Uh, things that really added to the story, like I said. You know, the characters, they were answered plot holes, but just visually, there were updates that made so much sense and added to this world. And you felt like you entered this place of magic within the story. You knew that there was a separation between the town and the castle. I, I keep saying it added to it. It's it's the truth. You know, there were even Cocteauian additions, elements from the original movie. The first, uh, I, I believe that Cocteau made the first feature... Beauty and the Beast. I'll have to look into that. And there were just aspects of it that were dripped into this movie that were not there in the original animated version. If you want to get a better sense of compare and contrast of the Cocteau version versus the animated version, I'll link in the description below the Brows Held High Jerk with a Camera crossover episode that they did. One of the greatest things that I've ever watched on YouTube. I've watched this to the point that I have almost memorized their songs completely. Kyle Calgren and Tony Goldmark are two of the most phenomenal people on YouTube right now. They are just so much fun and so entertaining. This is the video that I recommend you start on if you want to start watching either of them. And especially I say watch both of them. They are, you know, they're people that I look up to as a content creator. It's just some of the most enjoyable stuff you're ever going to watch. So, all of that being said, as an homage to their musical video, I created my own unlockable content musical number. So, enjoy. Unlockable content, my rising web show. Click the button and subscribe. Unlockable content, you should really watch it. Everyone we ask says. Shut up! Shut up! Shut, Shut up! up! Shut up! Fine! God! Quick thing that I want to say now that you've seen that. That was a lot of fun to put together. Uh, thank you to everyone that I bothered at the mall for that. Uh, those added pieces. Uh, we tried reaching out to uh, Kyle and Tony, but it was a very last minute idea. I mean, I thought that like entire bit up in the shower that same morning yesterday you know, you get an idea of how last minute I'm talking about. That's how my brain works. It's just ideas hit me, and it's like, I gotta get them out, gotta get them out, gotta get them out. <laughs> uh, so we tried, but, you know, they're busy guys. But, you know, I reached out to them. Thank you guys if you saw it. Uh, maybe sometime in the future we can try to work together on something. I hope you appreciate how much we respect you and what an impact you've had on us as creators. Uh, I hope all of you enjoyed this, and uh, go see the movie. You've really got to go see it. Honest to God, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I mean, I loved every second of this. It was a good, solid, faithful adaptation. It had elements of the old classic it had elements of the animated feature throughout, and it still made itself new, able to stand alone. If there was no animated feature before this, this could stand strong on its own.
So it's a phenomenal movie. I am definitely going to go see it again. 10 out of 10. Go see this movie. Enjoy. You were so right. I am so sorry I doubted all of you. <laughs> wait, 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 